while you've been chatting with ChatGPT and asking Google questions. These AI giants have been quietly making deals worth billions to get their hands on something they can't just scrape from the internet anymore, and what they're after might surprise you. This is the $100 billion data war. What's up, tech fam? Today we're diving into the hidden battle that's reshaping AI as we know it. OpenAI, Google, and Perplexity are striking global partnerships not for more computing power, but for something far more valuable, real-world data that can't be found anywhere online. If you want to stay ahead of the AI curve, smash that subscribe button because this story reveals how your everyday interactions are becoming the new gold rush. Let's break it down. Here's the thing. AI companies have a problem. Elon Musk recently agreed that we've exhausted AI training data, and Gartner estimates 60% of the data used by tech giants like Microsoft, Meta, OpenAI, and Anthropic is now synthetic. But there's a gold mine of information these companies can't access through traditional web scraping, real shopping behaviors, actual customer interactions and genuine transactional data. Over the past two months, OpenAI has tied up with e-commerce majors Shopee and Shopify, while Google and Perplexity have doled out free access to their advanced AI tools to some users in India. But why India? Asia's young, tech-savvy population and high mobile penetration make it one of the fastest-growing markets for AI adoption and innovation, according to Oliver J., managing director of OpenAI International. The results speak for themselves. In July, when Perplexity announced its deal with Barty Airtel, the company clocked monthly downloads of 6.69 million compared to just 790,000 in June. That's an eight times increase in just one month. Want to see this strategy in action? Look at China. Chinese AI drug discovery companies have landed multi-billion dollar deals with pharmaceutical companies like AstraZeneca, Pfizer, and Sanofi. Their secret weapon? Access to a massive contextual data set thanks to the country's national health insurance system, which covers over 600 million people. That's what experts call a structural advantage, turning real-world patient data into AI gold. But here's where it gets controversial. Experts are concerned about issues such as data sovereignty and a trend where emerging markets become feeders into global AI systems without fair returns. Countries like Nigeria, India, South Africa, and Vietnam are already pushing back, demanding that tech giants store their citizens' data locally. As one expert puts it, this calls for robust guardrails to protect privacy and ensure fairness. And just when you thought this data war couldn't get crazier, Perplexity offered to purchase Google's Chrome browser for $34.5 billion on August 12th, nearly double Perplexity's own valuation. So, here's the bottom line. While we're all focused on which AI can write better code or create better images, the real battle is happening behind the scenes. It's not about who has the smartest algorithms anymore. It's about who has access to the richest, most diverse real-world data. This raises some massive questions. Should your shopping habits, health records, and daily interactions be training the next generation of AI? Are we creating a world where emerging markets become data colonies for tech giants? And most importantly, are you comfortable being part of this grand experiment? Let me know in the comments. Would you trade your privacy for free AI tools? And what guardrails do you think we need to protect user data in this new AI economy. If this opened your eyes to what's really happening in AI, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more deep dives into the stories that are reshaping our digital future. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, because in the world of AI, things change fast, and you don't want to miss what's coming next.